Greetings family, this is Bomani Tamba and welcome to our Africa for the Africans Tours and Investment Conference call for December 11th, 2022. And now we're here to talk about uh, all the wonderful countries that we have on our schedule that we're traveling to. Uh, Ghana, Senegal, the Gambia, Rwanda, Tanzania, South Africa, and Liberia. So those are the seven countries that we have on our schedule. But tonight, uh, since we're leaving for Ghana in 13 days, I'm gonna go over the departure and reminder list and then go over a lot of things relative to getting ready for Ghana and also Senegal and Gambia, and basically uh, any other tours that we have on the schedule. And everything that we deal with is this uh, preparation and clarity. And everything is also a reflection of what we have on our website, africaforafricans.org. That way you have access to the same con consistent information. All right, and before I continue, we just came back from our uh, third Tanzania Roots and Culture Journey for Lifetime. And I have one of my good brothers, uh, Juma, here on the call. So hopefully you can open up the share. It's a wonderful experience on that journey. I currently have videos on YouTube and pictures on Facebook. Uh, of uh, highlights of uh, that journey and every other journey before that from 2006. So this always want everyone to just be clear about what kind of journey we do and how we do it. And you can just look at the previous documentation to see how people dress, see how the movements are and things like that. So to get right into the preparation detail, I'm gonna do screen sharing and go to our website Africa for the Africans.org. As a family, while you're on the website, uh, whether you're on your phone, or a desktop or a laptop. The main thing is just to click on the main menu and just look for the tour that you're traveling on. And it's a different format of layout, but it just, just give you access to what you're looking for as far as uh, tours, or if you have interest in uh, Black Star Repatriation and Pan-African Community, uh, that is the uh, link right there at the very top of the star that give you access to those details. And then for those who want more information, then we have an email with um, all the other details in an email. And, and then since we are going to Ghana, we go to see the land December 29th. So I've been working with our group there for the last few months uh, to get everything in order, prepared, make everything look nice and presentable. And that way we can have a nice, uh, you know, nice tour of uh, incredible futuristic opportunities as far as living, doing business, investing in Ghana, in a world where we have a community that's um, you know, organized by us and you know, we're doing corporate economics. So we we'll definitely talk more about uh, that information, uh, but the most important thing we had to talk about is the tours, but I always have conference calls and updates um, on our community. And the best updates we have is on our YouTube channel where we have a playlist all for Black Star. Pan-African community information, just like the previous tour we just did, Tanzania, is playlist. So everything that we do here is have a playlist um, set to where you can just see what we're up to, uh, any live updates, and then just maybe just the history of anything that we've done, that way you can just see the consistent flow. All right, so I'm going to, you can go down to the middle or you can go to the, the main menu and then click on Ghana, December, 2022. And if anybody else, um, wherever you're traveling at, it's the same one to 30 list, it just explain different things. So this is relevant to all countries that we're going to, but I'll be using Ghana and slash Africa in the most case while I explain this our preparation. All right, and as soon as you click on the link, you'll see a few other articles. You'll see the full tour overview, which tells you what's included and what's not included. And so we always wanna make sure everybody's clear on that. 
than the full day-to-day -day itinerary as far as this literally everything that we're doing and the flow of uh, the, the, the flow of the actual schedule. Let me click on December. All right, so this is uh, December, 2022. So there's a list of a few different articles on here and there's the uh, tour overview, which give you full details of what's included, what's not included. And there's a full breakdown of this uh, tour, this uh, view itself. Uh, general terms, which includes um, this overall detail of this, the general terms of this, the tour program based on responsibilities of us and the people that we do business with. A tour itinerary, the full tour itinerary. Most important thing that uh, everyone read to just be clear about the movements and clear about uh, what we have going on per day. And just make sure that, uh, you know, you're prepared based on what we're doing. If we're going canopy walk, you know, you're gonna need to just make sure that you have good shoes and things like that if we're going on a hot day. So it just give you an idea to prepare. And while we're there on the journey, you know, our goal is to go over the schedule um, at least twice a day in the morning and then in the evening when we finish and then go over at least two to three days of the schedule. So it's not something that you know you have to memorize and then we'll have printouts or a book digitally or printed. Um, that way you can just keep up with the schedule also. Uh, visa at this moment, uh, everybody should have a Ghana visa and be clear about um, the entry requirements. Uh, improving your immune system, another one that's uh, recommended. Uh, language translation, if you wanna learn more of the um, more pop most popular language there in Ghana. Uh, that's a nice uh, chart that we have set up. And then the uh, main list that uh, I want to talk about is the departure and reminder list. All right, departure and reminder list, a list of 30 things. All right, and as we travel on our last journey, it's, what we do is just try to go over the same information to just make sure that uh, you're prepared and you can just literally use this as a checklist. Uh, all right, so all, all of the Ghana tour documentation, just like all other tour documentation uh, mentioned in that we went over, overview, itinerary, general term, just making clarity and note that these information are all on the tour link. So make sure you click on the links and whatever tour you're traveling on, take your time, read through it. Call me, reach out to me uh, if you have any questions. If you need an upgrade to five-star hotels or something, just, just putting something out there or if you just need clarity of certain things. Bomani, be quiet. Right, uh, number two, um, gratuities prior to departure, Africa for the Africans will collect tips for hospitality services that will be provided in Ghana and in all other countries. Uh, this is based on the number of confirmed tour participants. Right, and this will serve as a separate charge for the tour and will be collected on the departure date upon arrival, Atlanta, Amsterdam, or this when we get to uh, Ghana or the relative country. Uh, this uh, will allow us to expedite services you can give additional tips uh, to anyone who gives you great services uh, or whoever you choose to throughout the time frame. Uh, the fifty dollar represent basic tips for all after staff, all of our uh, tour staff, drivers, guides at site, hotel staff, entertainment, and things like that. So we just make it work as best as possible, and then you know, individuals can just uh, just do as they feel in. You know, and now uh, make it work. And then in the future, what we can do is just go back to the standard uh, $10 a day, which would make it $100. But for now, that's what we have is 50. Uh, so we just recommend everyone just um, tip as they make their way around the country. Also uh, beyond this, uh, what this tip is designated for. Okay. All right, number three, uh, one of the most important things uh, when you come vi visit, uh, do not uh, come roam 
with a romanticized notion about Africa or you'll be disappointed or unnecessarily frustrated. Come with an open eye and an open mind knowing that uh, African countries that were going to like Ghana develop, are developing nations and there's much to do and we can be a positive energy um, towards the country. Keep in mind that Ghana slash Africa is not America or Europe, nor do we want it to be. And uh, we're here uh, basically traveling to Africa to enjoy an experience. So just saying that uh, you're dealing with um, countries where some parts of the country, the infrastructure may be nicer than other parts. Um, but as you're traveling with us, we're going around different parts of the country. So it's not always, you're, you're going to sometimes two or the three more popular parts of the country based on tourism, but uh, the infrastructure varies. So let's tell everybody just to kind of just go with the flow and we just do our best to make things uh, work as best as possible. Um, if, uh, example, if lights go out, all the hotels that we have, they have generated and it will come back on soon. Uh, and traffic, things like that, um, things you just don't have any control over, but it's, you're trying to just let people know the world you live in may be a little bit different from the world that we're going to, but part of the adventure is learning what's going on in the different countries. Like example, we just uh, went to Tanzania incredible countries, but in order to move around, you know, we didn't have one bus to take us around the whole country. So you're getting on you know, small jets and you're getting on ferry boats to go from one location to the next. Uh, so in, you're, you know, you're, you're, you're moving, you know, you're packing up and moving. And that is, you know, one of those things where you just, you just find either the shortest route to, to do those movements or like in Ghana, we're just making our way around the country on uh, one bus. And then when you come to the country, you know, you'll, you know, you'll see you know, that maybe the, the roads in the country is just not the same as what, what you, you're used to, but that is what we just try to make sure. I know sometimes these are simple things and people do get it, but just trying to just reopen people's minds up. And that, like example, as soon as you come to Ghana, it's just beautiful and nice. Everything is just well developed right there by the airport in the city. And things like that, and then we just make our way around to like Elmina, Cape Coast, and just or in our town, Jadzi. And you know, you see at least less development, and we see more rough roads and things like that. But we managed to get around and manage to just uh, enjoy the good times, and this is just part of just the viewing experience. But uh, for the most part, uh, what I've seen, all countries I've traveled to, I've seen this a growth from this you know, development that wasn't there to you know things being more developed. So you have. You know, you're hoping to have less traffic and things like that. The next thing, number four, um, airline tickets. Uh, not everyone tickets are on Delta Airlines. 90% of the tickets, or I would say majority of the tickets that we have done over the period of time are on Delta Airlines. But the main thing is whatever airlines you're flying on, whether Delta, KLM, or Royal Air Morocco, uh, make sure you log in and confirm your information in their login system and make sure you update your whether it's your phone number, email address in your system in case, or add, add yourself to their frequent flyer program. So if you need to, if there's an alert about a ticket that needs to be changed or something or a change of flight or just anything like that, you can be updated. Because we do have uh, scheduled changes at times. So you can also just, every once in a while, just check. Uh, and as you get closer, just make sure you're clear on these things. So if you need to add uh, certain kind of meals, wheelchair, if you need to add anything, you can add those things uh, in your booking. And this is also saying Delta, excuse me, KLM and Air France system are interchangeable for those who are flying on KLM Air France. If uh, one of their websites is down or, or so, then you can use the other one, but it's the same exact information, but Delta is not connected to their system. Let me just open this up a little wider. At five, uh, make sure you just have all your personal documents just uh, organized. So just recommend everyone print uh, the electronic uh, ticket. Uh, make sure you have uh, your visa, your vaccination card for those who are, have vaccination cards. And for those who don't, make sure you have your COVID test two days before you travel. I'm sure I have it somewhere down here in the notes. Uh, and so by now, uh, by that time, you know, you'll be able to just verify your documents, make sure that everything is clear and ready to go. Because uh, one of the things is 
we want to make sure that uh, we don't have to do too much with anyone's uh, ticket. But if you run into any issues with your ticket, you can definitely just reach out to us. But the main thing is uh, you can communicate directly with the airlines. Everything is in everyone's uh, name. At seven, I arrive at the airport uh, two to three hours early. And then for those who just want a little more breathing room, just since it's the holiday time, um, make sure you just get there just early ahead of time and have your bags organized. Now, as far as um, since we're doing international flight, the, dom the domestic and the international flights are all connected to where uh, you're allowed two check bags, uh, each uh, 50 pounds uh, limit each. Uh, so make sure your bags are secure with a lock and a name tag. And that's what I tell everyone while you're moving around with us, make sure you have a tag on every bag because that's another issue. You have other people traveling with us and moving around and things like that. And sometimes you just see a bag just sitting there and then you just wonder who bag it is, but you don't, you don't have a name tag on there. And sometimes you just, you know, it could just get left behind. But uh, simple things like that, um, just want everyone to just, be, just get on. And that way when we're moving around, you can identify your bags uh, real quick. Uh, so verify all labeling of bags directly to ACC on your departure. And that, so all bags, once you check them, they'll be sent to your final destination, which is ACC Accra, right? Put your tag receipt uh, with your passport and tickets. Uh, and also Delta charges $100 of overweight bags between 51 and 70 pounds. So if a bag is overweight by a few pounds, it's $100. And uh, $200 for an additional check bags of uh, 50 pounds. And no bags are allowed over 70 pounds. And no, put all liquids over three ounces in your check bags and make sure all bags have filled out name tags again. So those are my uh, high recommendation. That's to make sure things are simple on you. And then if you don't have luggage and you're gonna have a luggage going around the airport, make sure you have, make sure your carry on is a carry on, at least one of them with wheels and maybe a backpack. That way when you're moving around the airport, if you're going from one location to the next and it's a little walking, you don't have to be lifting any heavy bags. All right, uh, so that'll be my recommendation for your carry-on bag. So uh, you can fit one in the overhead bin and then you can fit your backpack in front of this, under the seat in front of you. And for those who literally just uh, want to work things out where you're gonna buy more things, when you get, uh, just bring as many things in one bag that you wanna get rid of, whether it's school supplies or whether it's things you're gonna donate or trade or barter with. And that way, when you get rid of those things, you have a full space, uh, 50, up to 50 pounds to where you can bring back things that you're gonna be able to uh, get. It's a whole lot of wonderful shopping. So you'll be able to you know, possibly just fill up that bag, depends on how your shopping energy is. Now, for the most part, um, uh, and this is almost all tours, but uh, for Ghana, uh, we have a few different uh, ancestral celebrations. So we just recommend everyone bring a set of whites and then bring a set of red, black, uh, red, black, green, and gold clothing, uh, which is the colors of uh, Ghana and in whatever other countries, you just usually use the colors of the flag or this red, black, and green. So any combination of those things can work. Uh, for example, in Ghana, we have a visit to a Sin Man, so, and then also a visit to uh, Cape Coast African Holocaust Dungeons. Uh, 12, bring as many school supplies as you can donate to the children in Ghana. So we have, uh, we have uh, three schools uh, set for Ghana, one in Accra where we're at, uh, when we, not far from, one in Accra uh, in the mountains in Abri, um, well not Abri, in, in Tutu. The other one is in our town community, uh, Jahadzi, and then the last one is at Elmina, uh, where we're at One Africa. So for those who, you know, can bring school supplies, bring it. For those who want to make donations, you can also do that physically when you're there. Uh, whenever they put out the donation pot, uh, you can just make donations. And for those who just want to come and just enjoy the experience, that is all good. Uh, it's just a volunteer based on who wants to bring certain things. But looking for, to encourage those who are out there, you know, pick up to, to pick up some black doll babies for the the young girls and some toys for the boys. Uh, so that's um, something that you know we have done been doing over the years and shown love to our the schools that we have this uh, connection with at 14 bring any necessary um 
medicine that you may, might need. So just kind of just work that out. Uh, 15, uh, camcorder, camera, bring extra memory card, film, rechargeable batteries. And I would also say just bring your portable charger that works out real good. Uh, bring out your universal foreign adapters and convert uh, foreign adapters and extension cord. Now, if you want to use, if you want to get a SIM card, you can bring an unlocked phone and then you can get a Ghana SIM card. That's as soon as we are, we're out on one of those business days, uh, something that we can just get worked out for you. Uh, so that's why we just recommend you either bring a phone or if your phone is unlocked, you can swap the SIM cards out and then you can just use the Ghana network there. So that's one way for you to get access to internet and use a phone service. Beyond that, uh, everyone that's traveling with us, we usually put everybody in a WhatsApp group and then just get everybody to this use uh, WhatsApp. So at least it's something that you can use. You can call, text, and communicate with um, you know, your family and your friends and the people also that are traveling with you. At 16, uh, travel iron, alarm clock, uh, plastic bag, comp umbrella waterproof poncho and other convenient accessories just giving you a list of things that uh, you uh, may need and you may not need so you have to process which uh, which one of these things uh, that you that will work out for you so everything I'm going to I'm not telling everyone to just get these things it's just some people may need them some people don't a mosquito spray or repellent or a centronella oil so anything that um, and any kind of mosquito repellent that will work for you, just recommend that you bring some that when you're out at night or when you're just moving around, you may need some of this. Conveniently, just have a small bottle. And that is uh, for all countries. And the exchange rate, I'm always recommending anyone want to know the exchange rate to look it up online because even when I put this up here, it was 15, for one US dollars, it was 15 Ghana CDs. Now they've dropped down to about 13. Uh, so, but one thing I always recommend everyone that's traveling with us, always bring big bills, 15s, 50s and 100s. If you bring smaller bills, 20s, 10s, 5s, you're going to get a lower exchange rate for it. And recommend that you just bring more cash if because uh, if you uh, once you're out of your regular cash you're just gonna have to use ATM machines and you know recommend that you make sure that uh, you work that out with your bank uh, that way you just have less issues and less problems but yes definitely recommend bring the big bills go inside the bank and tell them to give you the big bills that way you can get more for your money when you exchange your money there in Ghana and every other country or I should say most countries are like that I know it's definitely like that in Ghana and definitely like that in Tanzania All right, so people ask what amount of cash to bring, I just usually say recommend 400 and bring any kind of debit card, um, Visa, MasterCard, or any of them, all the machines that nowadays are just, you have more updated banks. So you'd be able to use whatever cards that you have. At right, 20, um, the weather is gonna be in your, in your low 80s, mid 80s, in a nice tropical uh, paradise weather. So bring light clothes, clothing, sandals, shorts, walking shoes, sundresses, tank tops, swimwear, casual slash African clothing, or a certain nightlife, uh, evening events like business networking conference, or welcome and farewell dinner. So just recommend that you pack a nice, you know, few different things for different occasions and just be prepared for all the different events and be prepared for the fun, the joy, the excitement, and just us just making our way out throughout the day in this enjoying the country in the different parts of the country. All right, so no photo taken allowed. Um, well, depends what you're doing. Uh, you can get away with a lot of things with your phone, but just uh, be mindful of uh, at least uh, government buildings and places that say no films and things like that. So I think as time go along, it's not as serious as it used to be, but it's one of those things you have to always keep an eye out on. All right. So our tours does not uh, offer travel insurance, but you can purchase it from an independent insurer. You have Passport Health USA, and you also have Alliance. I uh, didn't provide a link on there, but this uh, whenever we do tickets, those are that's one company that always pop up. So Passport Health USA, and the one that I always see is Alliance. Or you can just find one that works out with you. 
uh, works for you. And then just make sure it covers the things that you need it to be covered. And just you know, make sure those things are clear. 23, uh, toiletries including uh, tissue, soaps, uh, napkins, wet wipes, facial uh, tissues, washcloths, beach towel, and laundry soap. So I'm um, not saying to bring a whole lot of this, but uh, you just want to make sure you bring your convenience of things that you need uh, as you move around. And then when you're on the bus and we're doing long drives, make sure you have a few things with you in case um, we, we go somewhere and the facility is not up to your specs. You can at least have some additional things to work with. And that is uh, mainly for uh, Ghana because you know sometimes you have a five hour ride in Tanzania. We weren't, you know, the furthest ride sometimes like 15, 20 minutes. And then by the time you make a move somewhere else, you know, you can find somewhere for someone to use the restroom. But that's something that we always just calculate in those movements. And, you, know, you have a whole group of people, someone's gonna need to use the restroom. So um, on those long drives, um, and we just usually give you a heads up to be prepared, but we're going here, it's gonna take five hours, maybe in between that five hours, and you need to do a rest stop, it may not be a certain way. So let's uh, be prepared. Uh, 24, um, now all of the people that we travel with, um, whether we have them on our tour staff or whether they're just people around the hotels, you know, most people are very nice and friendly, but have a, just uh, be wary of uh, people who want to just make uh, quick money off you and just kind of just sell your dream and things that they cannot, uh, you know, fulfill. Uh, so these things are definitely uh, popular um, and things that I always tell people if they need any consultation for anything, uh, we're the people that brought them there and then we have our people on staff that are a connection for us to talk about certain things to make sure that uh, you know, we don't get ourselves involved in things. So I always wanna put that uh, out there because uh, you do have some sweet talkers, men and women, and that's probably everywhere you go. So just be on the alert. 25, uh, games leisure uh, for leisure time, um, social gathering like deck of cards, dominoes, chess, uh, general board games. So while we're at a resort or while we're just um, out uh, and it's one of those nights uh, where maybe not much to do out in town, uh, we just socialize and just, you know, just enjoy ourselves, whether it's in the lobby or just out at the resort in one Africa. 26, emergency items are flashlight, basic first aid kits, laxatives, and a few other things. And these are just things for people who may need them. So it's just part of whatever emergency items you may want to carry. Uh, 26, um, definitely one of the most important ones. So it's one I want to please focus on enjoying themselves and accomplishing their mission and do not get distracted by others or get caught up into complaining. This is an experience that will have its ups and downs. And when I mean ups, uh, Ups is you're very excited and you're moving around. It's a whole lot to do and everything. The downs may be when you just the long travel in and out of um, you know, from airport to a bus and so on and things like that. But uh, all of it is a part of your introduction to um, Africa. Uh, we recommend you just go with the flow and enjoy your time in paradise around the wonderful itinerary that we have put together on the journey of a lifetime. So all these itinerary are just incredible itineraries where we put as much as possible on it to cover what we consider roots, culture, and then in some other cases, business network and, and so on. And it's just designed for you just to enjoy an experience and socialize with others and, you know, and build your mind to the, you know, the evolution of the world of Africa that uh, we're looking to just build a, a strong connection from America to Africa, from African diaspora to the African continent. So all of this is a part of this, how we're there in the country and, while we're there in the country and experiencing the country, everything is a learning experience for all of us. And that's how we've been able to build a nice program there in Ghana to where, you know, we have influenced and recommended and connected a nice energy of people to live and do business there. So when you travel to us to Ghana, it's a whole lot of networking and, and things like that. And as we just build energy in other countries, it'll be the same. So yeah, so definitely recommend everybody this, uh, Enjoy, enjoy, and definitely don't distract anyone else from just doing what they're doing and enjoying their paradise. At uh, 28, so these are the links I want everyone to just be clear on. You have to do a health declaration form. And also, uh, you have to be clear about, you have to, 
make sure you click on this link so if you don't have a COVID test and you have to pay for the, um, the, the rapid test here in Ghana, that's the link you're going to be able to, you know, you're going to have to go to do that. But anyone, everyone that's traveling with us, recommend you click on both of these links so you're completely clear on the entrance situation in Ghana because that's all these two things are. And then, you know, once we, um, before we travel, we get, you know, we're going to make sure we just go over a few things with everyone before we travel. But this is the main thing I'll be talking about. All right, once we all get uh, to our Ghana, we just get our bags together. And then we just organize ourselves together. And then we just push our carts down and our tour guides and our people will be waiting for us right at the entrance. And they'll just get everybody uh, boarded on the bus. And then we just, you know, continue our journey from there to the hotel, short ride, and do orientation while we're doing our short ride and just get ourselves ready to enjoy paradise. So family, that is the list of things. And the last one is 30 to bring bring things to the Holocaust dungeons. And I'm always telling people these are things that you just want to bring them. Say so you may want to bring some candles um, and you may want to bring a picture. These are just things that's giving you an idea. If you want to use that energy as a as a special moment, All right, uh, that's me right there. Kakum National Park, always at some national park out there in nature. Uh, the journey of a lifetime continues, family. We just make our way around different ventures. So these are the, some of the pictures you see. And these are a small percentage of the photos. Um, Let's try to pick the best of a few countries, put it in a few countries and put them up. But if you want to see the photos of our journey, uh, once you click on the link on the website, um, you have links from the main menu to links just in the middle of the page. It will take you to a Facebook page. And then you can you know, scroll down and see some of the posts. But the main way to get access to all the photos is this photos and then albums. So these are the last two journeys we did, right? Here. Tanzania, November, 2022, and Ghana, and Ghana, May, and June, 2022. So these are the, the galleries that we have in us. As time go along, let's keep on uploading more um, pictures and videos uh, to both our Facebook and YouTube. So this is us right here in Tanzania. This, you know, enjoying a nice energy from airport to just moving around the country. And these are just some pictures of the first few days. And so all, that's all gallery. So you just get a nice visual view of, you know, from even what everyone is wearing, how the, how the energy of the country may be in just the landscape. And all of this is in small little Arusha, beautiful little city that you just go around and with but a whole lot of uh, cultural and history, or as I say, culture and history. So as, as you scroll down, we're just going to see a whole bunch of different countries. And this is us, this in and around all aspects of life, just moving around from the beaches to airports the restaurant, the business conference, and on ferry boats at schools. So yes, yeah, so family, that's been truly a journey of a lifetime. And as we get ready for Ghana, and let me just show what we have. And this is our Tanzania. This is 20 uh, videos uh, so far. And this is the same reflection as the picture this. Highlights from the different places that we are. That way, you know, you get a feel of everywhere we go. We just have some level of um, video or photo documentation. And then for those who love animals, got some nice animal videos and shot and some nice food at this wonderful Ethiopian restaurant. Yes, and a canopy walk. And as far as the newsletter that was uh, sent, 
the main thing about the news that I do have some topics uh, items on there, but the main thing is all of the links uh, that's uh, provided on there. Right, so this is the payment link for all of our payment options. So those who are ready for 2023, uh, get you started. And for those who are not, just want you to understand that all prices are subject to change based on the, you know, the airlines. Once you lock you in, we'll lock you in. All right, and this is um, this, uh, the links itself from the newsletters. And we are already right there for Senegal and the Gambia right after Ghana. Uh, so all the preparation information I talk about uh, is the same thing. This one, everybody just be clear on the schedule. And as we get closer to different journeys, we just talk more about those and then have more private calls. And then everything that we talk about is trying to make it as general as possible for all journeys since they all have the same, uh, the same organized flow, roots and culture and the ones only ones that really focus specifically on investment is the uh, Ghana journey and the Liberia journey because we have a business conference and then land presentation. So that's what we have for both countries. And then the schedule is um, this uh, full schedule throughout the year. So those who want to uh, base a journey based on the time off or the flexibility that they have, uh, um, cover a good amount of uh, the time frame throughout the year. But uh, all these schedules are gonna just remain based on the you know, 2023 production. So this one, I'll be keeping up to see what people are interested in, what people, what countries stand out and works and then those will stay and then others will be replaced. But I do have a few more countries that I can replace these current countries with, but it's just time to work on schedules and to you know you can't just throw up itinerary after this put some work into building a schedule like this library schedule took me a good uh good month to put it together and just work with our people in library to just make sure everything works and connect All right, so more links and it's a quick uh, topic list. Yes, these are all of our all of our group energy, the history of this big groups uh, traveling across Africa. So and go all the way down to two thousand and six. Then that's all of our popular links right there. It's a family. Uh, let me uh, stop right there and open things up uh, so we can dialogue. So if you have any questions, we can go through it and um, just uh, keep it moving. Uh, let me first check. Uh, greetings, uh, Juma. Are you up? Are you talking to me? Yes, I'm talking to you, Juma. How are you, brother? How are you feeling? Oh, oh, I'm fine, fine, fine. Yeah, I want to thank you for joining with us to uh, Ghana, Senegal, and Gambia, and uh, now Tanzania. Uh, right. Four epic country, uh, uh, three in West Africa and one in East Africa. And now Rwanda. Yes, appreciate you, yes. Uh, so just letting everyone know, you and I have been doing this for a long time. We're all still... Well, we always tell everybody if you're ready to go, you're locking on a deposit and let's get you, let's get some reservations made for you and let's uh, get you going. Yeah, soon to be done. Uh, yes, I'm talking about as far as uh, just other people that we're just telling them to, uh, for, as far as 2023. That way, you know, that way they are ready to go. Uh, it's the end of the year and everything. But how was your journey of a lifetime to Tanzania compared to Ghana, Senegal, and the Gambia? Well, you know, none of the uh, the uh, tours ever disappoint, and it was the same with Tanzania. 
you know, um, as well as, you know, of course, we went to Zanzibar, too. Mm -hmm. um, just had a wonderful time uh, going out there swimming in that blue water and everything, and the shopping and the museums and everything that we went to in Tanzania, as well as the game uh, reserve. So, you know, it's all, um, you know, I enjoy going to all the different countries with you and everything, and each one it has its own unique experience. And that's why I always travel with Africa for the African. Yes, brother, appreciate uh, the energy and uh, the, the support of just uh, just being an adventurous person and uh, and just be and you be and the good thing about it you be ready. <laughs> yeah, right. and, and yeah, I don't waste. Ready. Yeah, I don't waste any time. You know, it's you, just... you, be, you be prepared. You know? That's what I'm telling people that we, we go through. We have all everything, all the preparation, details, and information. And yeah, like, I'm usually I'm usually ready to go. Um, four to five months ahead of time, ahead of everybody else. <laughs> and after that, it's just a waiting period for me. And then once you get on the journey, you find yourself prepared and everything goes smooth. Everything goes smooth. And that's right. something, family, the things that we talk about in the preparation, just have all the stuff you need. That way you don't have to be running to the mall and be trying to find this and doing all of these. You can just relax and enjoy. Hopefully you had a good yeah. time to really kick back on the beaches of Zanzibar and, 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 yeah. get, your, and get your tan on. Yeah, tan. Well, <laughs> okay. Yeah, I, I, I do have a somewhat slight polluted bloodstream from one of them Europeans, but yeah, um, the, the weather out there in Zanzibar was absolutely wonderful, man. And um, you know, I just had a great time, you know. And when we took the midnight, uh, the, the sunset cruise. Yeah, that, that's that's always my favorite, man. Just being out there yeah. in the boat and. Because while you're out there, you're just looking and all you see is a, just a beautiful coast of this right. paradise that, that mo you know, most people don't know about. And I'm like, yeah, we're, yes, we're in Africa. So those yeah. are some of the next uh, videos I want to even start. I want to uh, get up uh, by the end of the week. The sunset right. cruise, because that was a whole beautiful experience. And I record all of it. Right. You know, I'd just like to tell everybody that, you know, that um, you know, once you go there, I don't know how many of you have been before, but once you go there, your life has changed forever. You know, that's where we're from. And there's no greater uh, continent in the world. That's why everybody wants to go there. Absolutely, fam. It's a journey of a lifetime continues. Yes, uh, Juma. So appreciate you, brother. And thank you for also sharing uh, the, your wonderful experience with all your friends. And uh, you know, I, know, I know a lot of times, uh, you know, with friends, you got to keep on telling them, keep on telling them. But I'm always telling them that, you know, they can also watch a lot of the highlights and and you know, and that will get them a good feel and let them know yeah. we're in and out of countries, airports, and you know we're following protocols and none of us are getting sick or none, nothing has happened to any of us. So right. and people know it's safe to travel. Um, right. Even the you know, even the situation with COVID tests and things like that, uh, no one's uh, really stressing you on those things. And then the most important thing, none of us had to wear a mask. I remember the first two years. I had to wear a mask on those long eight, nine hour flights. But as of this year, no mask. So this Well, you know, you have to worry about that more here in the United States than you do in the African continent. You know, that's why um, for a long time when COVID first started that so many African countries stopped the Europeans from coming into the continent. They were the ones spreading it. So it wasn't the Africans, no matter what they tell you in the media. This is not, it's not us, it's them. So, you know, when I'm home in the motherland, I just totally relax and forget about all that nonsense. Absolutely, man. I'm happy that you, you're able to just relax and kick back while we run around and make sure that everything, make sure everything works, you know, keep the engine running. Right. Yeah. So everybody in uh, Rwanda, Absolutely. power to the people in Africa Appreciate for the So family, that Rwanda journey again is July 20th to the 30th. and. Uh, we're going to just explore another wonderful East African country. So right now, I'm looking to see if anybody have any questions, especially about the list of 30 things that we've talked about on the preparation list, whether it's for Ghana or a different country. I have one. Uh, yes, uh, uh, Gwena, go ahead. Um, I, had, uh, I have to get my malaria pills. When I went for my consultation for my yellow um, fever vaccination, they had um, a list 
of um, insect repellent. I had brought some off deep woods, but they recommended that I send off for this insect, insect repellent. It's the same repellent that they give the armed forces, the armies to use when they go into tropical forests. They told me not to take the off insect repellent, to take that one. Is that valid? Because I have to send off for a special insect repellent. Uh, I can't say it's valid or not. That's the only thing that we recommend is that I uh, just bring some insect repellent, whether it's uh, natural or it's uh, something with a mix of things. So I would say just go with your best uh, judgment. All right, thank you. All right, absolutely. Our family line is open. Um, uh, give your name, where you're calling from, what journey you're traveling on, and your uh, question. Hello, everyone. This is Catrice um, calling from Dallas, Texas. My question is, my sister and I, we're, we will be arriving about an hour ahead of you guys. So are we going to be waiting on you guys to get there? Or, or should we, or, or will we be going ahead of you all? When well, we reach um, you? Uh, pickup time uh, will be different for different people. So our goal is to get you separate. OK, thanks. And uh, we're going to be coordinating uh, pickups and things like that, uh, especially a few days before we leave uh, with everyone that's coming on uh, uh, United, Delta, and Royal Air Morocco. Those are three main airlines. So we have a nice little sequence uh, to go back and forth. And so what I'll be doing is also sending you those uh, details. So we're all coordinated. And then you have the, um, the manager that's going to do the pickup uh, Everyone to have their information also. That way, if any of us have um, any issues with our network and things like that, uh, we have everyone have the information. And then also, I'll post those on our WhatsApp page. So, everyone um, that's traveling with us, that WhatsApp page becomes more, you know, becomes more relevant, especially when we're traveling, especially the last few days, because a lot of these things will be sent to you. And then, if I need to send something to you separate, I'll send it to your WhatsApp also. So I'll be, I'll be uh, working on that uh, for you, uh, Catrice, and I'll be sending you a separate message also on WhatsApp. We're gonna get these things all coordinated. Hey, Bamani, this is Dr. Z. How are you? Um, uh, greetings, uh, Dr. Z. Um, and well, greetings, good to hear from you. Yeah, um, so from my first account, in, you know, trying to get there, I have uh, still a lot of medical stuff and I wasn't sure if we're still carrying anything for you know like I have things for kids and stuff like that so are we still bringing things there or you know that's not for this our big school supplies I'll just recommend uh, anyone just bring as much as they can um okay. and and then you know when we get to the different schools we just uh, get them divided up but the medical stuff you don't need uh you can use it uh, but you can bring it but as far as myself I am um, I'm limited on what I can bring. I've already got, um, I'm already filled all the way, all the, all the bags that we have, we're bringing are filled up. How much, I mean, I, I know, I think I've already looked at it, but typically it's, you're allowed like two bags under the plane and a uh, carry-on. It's two bags, uh, 50 pound uh, check-in, two 50 pound bags uh, check-in. Mm -hmm. So that's a uh, hundred total pounds you have right there. And then whatever you can work, in your roll-on and your backpack uh, for the inside of the plane. Okay. All right, I, I guess I'll just bring the kid stuff and uh, if there's room, I'll put the um, any medical stuff I have because I've been holding on to it since the last trip. And absolutely, yes. be free to bring anything you need to bring and um, we'll get them to the right location. Okay. So are you clearing everything on that list of uh, 30 preparation lists that we just went through? Um, I got on late. So um, is that list somewhere on the website? It's the, yes, uh, it's the, as soon as you click on the website, uh, it gives you a preparation departure list. It's also posted uh, in the uh, group page, group WhatsApp page. Oh, okay. Let me yeah, so that's the uh, whole uh, thing that we're talking about uh, in this uh, conference, the preparation details. So some of the things you mentioned is on that list. 
but uh, but uh, yes, definitely. But uh, let me know if you have any questions, any other question, okay. and beyond that, you can take your time and click on the link in this. And I look through the list because it's uh, all relevant information for everyone before they travel. So I already have my visa from the last time, you know, the situation. And um, I basically just going off what I had before. So I don't need to do anything else in reference to the traveling part, like the visa and the, you know. No, no, I have to do anything uh, else. The only thing I have to do is uh, just do a health declaration form and look at the Ghana travel uh, page. So that those links are on the uh, preparation list that I, um, I posted. Okay. So I just want to make sure everybody's clear that it's up to them to look at uh, from point one to 30 and just be clear on those things. That way we can just... Did you post it today? Yes, I posted today, but it's also as soon as you click on yeah, the tour link. I it, it. Reminder it. list. Yes. Yeah, yeah. So, so that's it right there. Thank you. All right, perfect. All right, so family line is open. Want to know if anyone have any questions in reference to the uh, departure and reminder list uh, that we just went through? You just want to make sure everybody is clear right now. These are the best times to just be clear on things so we can go through it because right now we're just getting things going and you can send a message and I'll reply back to your message on WhatsApp. So that's the, one of the next best thing anyone can do. And if you really need to call me, just let me know and then yeah, I'll call you. But after today, you are packing up and working on a bunch of things to get ready. So everything is organized and ready. Will this be our last meeting um, before the, the Ghana crew? Is this our last meeting? Um, I can't say I'll do my best to try to do a private meeting, but even in that case, I was hoping that most of the people traveling with us would show up so we can just go over what we just went over and which, uh, so yes, it'll be for this introduction really. So pre-introduction, so people are moving around and traveling, they know each other. So I do my best to work on that and post that ahead of time in the group page and send out uh, an email. But the good thing about it is I'm right here, right now, available. Oh, I do have a question. Um, I know when we were going to Kenya, well, when I went to Kenya, they were saying, don't, if you're going to bring big bills, it has to be a certain year. Does that, is the same for um, Ghana, as far as like the $100 bills or the $50 bills, does it have to be a certain year? Uh, it does have to be new bills and look like new bills and can't be ripped or damaged. So I definitely recommend anyone uh, going to bring bills, go inside the bank and get brand new bills. And we change the money when we get there. Uh, yes, and you change the money when you get there, whether it's the Forex Bureau or we have someone that changes money. Someone posted a question in the chat. Now, uh, what does fully COVID vaccination mean? It means that uh, if you have a J&J, &J, you're fully vaccinated. And if you have any other, other vaccination and you have two vaccination, you're fully vaccinated. So it uh, doesn't require a booster or things like that. So hopefully that answers that person's question. All right, so family, the line is open for anybody have any questions. Because beyond that, it's just me basically reading off the information and going to the information that's on the site, Facebook, YouTube, and the newsletter. Do we have to let you know ahead of time if we prefer which 
I know you gave us an option once we got to Cape Coast of staying at one Africa or the other hotel. Do Is that something we work out on site or is that something you need to know ahead of time? Yeah, it's something I'll, I'll need to know ahead of time. If um, But right now we have enough people to fit all at one Africa, except for um, a, a tour guide and but if somebody needs to be over there uh, somewhere else, uh, yes, that's something that uh, you can message me and let me know. But uh, beyond that, I got everybody at One Africa. Well, Mani, talking about that um, for Ghana, um, how would we know who we're, who we're rooming with? Yeah, I mean, I can tell you, um, I can send you a separate message and tell you. Okay. Or I can introduce people once we do a private call, which should probably be better. Okay, thank you. But um, yeah, most people have a roommate that they're traveling with. But um, I have it uh, worked out on the sheet. Good morning. You finished? Uh, go ahead. Good evening, everyone. I Kim from New York. I'm traveling with my brother-in-law, my sister, and my friend. But you mentioned something about the travel insurance. But whatever you had on the website, when I called them, they said it wasn't travel insurance, that it was more of so, like, you getting vaccinations and stuff like that. The travel insurance is to, for anyone who wants to just have insurance for the trip based on anything they think can possibly happen. Um, the company that was on there was Passport Health USA, but uh, the company that I mentioned earlier was Alliance. Okay, I went and um, I got on late as well. So the Alliance one, no, I didn't know anything about that one, but I called the other one, the first one that you told us about. And they said it wasn't for travel insurance. I know what travel insurance, what travel insurance is, but that's not what they were offering. All right, that's not All right gotcha. Uh, what I'm doing is just posting the link uh, to the group page, the uh, other our company. Okay, thank you. When I got my uh, vaccination, yellow fever shot or whatever it was, uh, Passport Health in their literature did say that they offered travel insurance now that that could have changed but they did offer travel insurance at one time all right gotcha so yeah so even on those lists i'll change it um the company i have is this uh alliance a l l i a n z and their the website is alliance travel insurance.com Um, so I just posted on our next two journeys, uh, Ghana, Senegal, and the Gambia. So yes, family, um, the, the so anyone that's looking on the uh, preparation and uh, departure or the departure reminder list, let me know if you see anything that you have any question about so we can just discuss it or answer any questions or re response to it. Or if anybody wanna talk about the tour overview, what's included, what's not included or the day-to-day uh, -to -day itinerary. Right, beyond that, um, my goal is to keep everyone updated via WhatsApp on your um, WhatsApp group page and also on your personal WhatsApp. If I need to send you a message, um, more than likely that's how I'll send you a message. And you can just get a quick or get a response um, if you're reaching out to me, regardless of whatever tour you're traveling on, because if I'm traveling out, um, that's one thing I'm looking at, because that's where I have all my um, people that I do, you know, business or whether it's tours, 
uh, investment um, land groups. Uh, all those things are all on WhatsApp. To just have a platform to just be able to just communicate while you're moving around to different countries. So anyone that's looking to travel with us and you know what journey you're, tra you're, you're traveling on and you're not in one of those groups, um, let me just add you. And that way if I have conference calls, anything going on, just post it. And they're not groups that we just post a bunch of messages in. It's just me just uh, updating our group. And this, that way you know you're current on anything. But uh, beyond that, for anyone who have any, um, anyone who just need to be clear about anything, I'm being honest with you, the best thing to do is to read the tour information. Uh, once you click on a link, you read that itinerary, overview, uh, the preparation, departure information, and things like that. And then that will clear you up on many things that you need to be clear on. Um, and that's the best I can tell anyone. And then beyond that, if you just need to talk, um, you can talk and send me a message and uh, answer it as best as I can. But beyond that, I'll be preparing to, for our journey. So I'll be working on either a private call for the our December group to where we can introduce ourselves and start some level of this basic orientation uh, within the next you know, several days or sometimes this week, just see how things go in. But it's a message that I'll post two, three days ahead of time and then send out an email. So that way uh, we are, that way, you know, if some more questions come up and if you're not clear about certain things, that will be the time to ask it. And then beyond that, we're just working on airport pickups and airport meetup. And then working on this, you know, working on our schedule so all those things are in place um, and I'll just keep everybody updated. So if no one else have any questions or want to dialogue about anything, uh, let me just let everybody go so you can enjoy a wonderful night. And once again, family, I'm Bomani Tamba, the tour organizer and tour leader for the journey of a lifetime. And I'll be on standby. Bye-bye. Okay. Thank you. Take care, brother. Right. Absolutely. Thank you. Welcome me. Take care. And then keep in touch. I got a whole lot of more of Tanzania photos and videos to share. All right. Excited. <laughs> Woohoo. <laughs> so, my name. Yes, Akubi. You're, you're very quiet. Hello, how are you? You're very quiet tonight. I am well. Yep. Yeah, I just want to I want to meet Brother Jim on one of these trips. <laughs> he goes everywhere. I have to meet him one of these days. <laughs> yes, uh, you come to Rwanda, you'll be hanging out in Rwanda. <laughs> no, I'll still be in Ghana. <laughs> but I was thinking about it, but I'll be in, hopefully I'll be in Ghana still. Uh, yes, uh, definitely. So yeah, I'll be there about two months. You know that. <laughs> Make it work in things, make it work. But I'll definitely see you in Ghana and yeah. Senegal and Gambia. Yeah, hopefully you are ready for the Senegal and Gambia journey. And I guess we could have talked more yeah. about that one. Yes, you know I'll be in touch with you. You know that. You inherited me. Yes, absolutely. So appreciate you. So you take care and I'll connect back with you also. Okay, tell the Lucari I say hello. Uh, yes, 